Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. Today we're going to give you a tip on how to use your feet during barrida. A lot of technique, so if you are serious about learning tango, let's get to work right away. All right, let us show you first. Tack. And from here we can exit. Bam. We are going to see this case and another case just for you to show you mainly the feet position. What are we doing here? So when we do a side step, I feel this top and he's getting ready for barrida. So what I do is I'm rotating my foot and glue my foot next to his. I will not go faster than him. I'm waiting for him to push, 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 push follower or who is receiving the barrida is all the time my foot next to his. At the very end, this is important not to keep going. We finish on the same position and open position. Be careful for the followers don't do this. It's opening from the hip, so this is a nice line. Toes and toes are together. Next one, after the barrida, I have to get to the feet together. I have to get my heels together, but my toes are open. So this is important after the barrida for Very the follower. For the leaders, it's exactly the same work. When we are catching her foot, for example, you can see that my the position of my foot is kind of tuck in an angle. So make sure you don't go straight like catching her foot in an open position. So point number one and point number two, one is closing your knees and overlapping your upper thighs. And the other one is keeping the toe, big toe, closer to the floor while you catch her foot. That will produce space here, plus her position exactly the same. We have better space during the barrida. Let us show you exactly what we mean. One, at this moment. Tuck, look, I'm catching. Look at this moment what happened. We have a space here. If we if we both don't do this, then it's, it's, it feels crowded. So we both, our own technique is displace the hip, overlap your knee, angle with your feet, your feet, and then we extend the leg. Yep, that is the most important thing. We keep going, lifting from the rib cage, and from here you can go to any other figure, exiting in a way you like. Let's rotate to show one more time from this side so I can explain something for followers. On the side step, I feel the stop. So here, I when I feel the stop and I feel his foot on top, I'm not moving my foot in. I don't make it shorter. The opposite, I make it a little larger so I can reach his foot. This is open position. When he start pushing or doing barrida, I will close my feet, my upper leg, so this is on feet together with him and then keep going. At the end, uh, this is when I'm opening the position of my foot. And from here, going to the sandwich in this case is lifting, keeping my heels together and toes open. So very important for follower is not to go by yourself and not to move your foot. When you mm. feel he's touching your foot, stay there. He will push. You follow him everywhere. He will push until the end of the move. So tai try chi to, tango. yeah, <laughs> try to keep your feet, your foot very together with his without moving faster or slower, or don't make shorter or larger step than him. We have two full, full, full courses from the very beginning, very fundamental until very advanced uh, figures with all about barridas, rotating barridas to the left, to the right, the basic step, how to position your feet, your leg, torso, communication, everything on our website, mediumleonardotango.com. You can purchase it separately as a downloadable course, or if you're a member of our website, you can watch them all, unlimited access. Also, please leave on your comment below the meaning of barrida. If you know the meaning, if you know the word in English, what is the meaning of barridas? Once again, thank you so much for being here with us and we'll see you in the next one.